If you want to try this game a little bit while I'm gone, feel free. Nope, 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 nope. Adam and Cohen are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam, that's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and I am trying desperately to get over it. With or without Bennett Foddy. This game is interesting. It's fun watching Adam get all ragey with it. <laughs> oh! The obstacles in sexy high nice! Yielding, okay. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. You know, obstacles in sexy hiking? Yeah, he was talking about that the earlier. The is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened Whoa. to me as I was building this mountain. Oh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't it's latch slippy. in because it's metal. Build it, test slippy it. and I don't like it. And it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. All right, fling yourself. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. There you go. If there you go. No. no. The inability to get past a new obstacle. Was uh, there you go. Oh fuck what me! What the even shit balls? How do Look I even? Look at that poop chute you gotta climb up into. Oh, oh, it is open. Yeah, it oh, is. good. Oh, thank God. I thought, I thought I was gonna have to go out and around. Yeah, but think about this. How are you gonna flip your weapon? And by weapon, I mean climbing stick around. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas uh, that can be okay, that just- I just lodged myself thing. against this fucking- yeah. No! <laughs> oh, man! Nope. No! Oh! No! 99% oh. of this episode's dialogue is just us just, screaming just no. Going. No, don't do it! Okay. But, um... God damn. Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Um, is this what you wanted when you suggested this game? Yeah, who wasn't it? Your brother? It, it was my brother. Is this what you want? You knew. You knew what you were asking Jeez. for. I think he knew you exactly bastard. what he wanted to do there. How, how often has he pulled this on? Has he like like tricked you to do something? He, oh, oh, oh. Is, he, is he the good you, brother or a mischievous brother? He's a good brother. He's, I didn't mean like you've got a bad brother. I mean, like, no, no, no. He is tends he like, to. Is he like the good? Is he like the good Samaritan brother who's always like, yeah, hey, we love flowers and daisies. Yeah, like freshman year of college, uh, there were a lot of times. I don't know. This is completely unrelated to what we're talking about now. Um, but like freshman year of college, I was in the the traditionally freshman dorms uh -huh. down on South Campus, which was like you know, the party campus, and, you know, I was in honors engineering and whatnot, and so how do I fucking how do um and so I was, like, losing my mind, and my brother lived up on North Campus, which was the, you know, the nicer, smarter sort of, like, the Better grad place. students lived on North Campus. Wow. <sighs> and he would let me, uh, like borderline live in his place a lot of the time, like so whenever I was study. starting to lose it, so that I could, you know, focus and study, and he helped me study. And so this is him just getting back at you for. No. He's like, I was really nice to you when you were younger, so I'm gonna have you play this game. Okay. Okay. Oh. You've sure. done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Fuck you! Thanks, you son of a cock. Okay, all right. Who? Okay, I need to. I need to calm down. I. It's not a rage Zen. game. Zen it's game. not a rage game. Out. It's a fun game. Just think. Just, just, just find your happy place. My happy place is not on that fucking girder. I can tell you that much. <laughs> you said girder. Girder. I hardly know her. I hit the top. Fucking. Oh, oh, God. Oh, you're sweating. I hate the girder so much. I hate the girder. I didn't even realize you were full of water in there. Oh, yeah. I must be stewing in my own juices in this can. Yeah. It's a problem. Oh, fucking. Okay. Nope. All right. It is, it is very difficult to try to, like, twist up. What if you What if you put that down on the bottom, blast up, and then flip around to... Pinch you up against the wall. Like, that's what I'm trying to do, but it's really, it's really kind of difficult because there's no room to pinch. Like, and now I'm just sort of, okay, nope. There's no, nope. okay. There's no, there's no place that I can find purchase. Maybe those lamps. Maybe I can grab a lamp. 
I'm going to try to grab a lamp, Corey. Grab that lamp, Adam. Grab that lamp, Adam. I know the last time you grabbed a lamp. Um, There was one time in a restaurant where I accidentally grabbed a lamp and burned myself horribly. Ouch. Like, I, uh, I was just, like, leaning across the table to say something to my wife. Something dirty. That's why. No, <laughs> I, was, I was trying to remember why I was Honey, leaning across the table all weird. These baked beans are brown. I don't like dirt is. Therefore, this is a dirty oh, statement. You guys. Yes, the lamp. No, good. No, 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 no. Okay, so the lamp is my salvation. I understand this now. All hail lamp. I love lamp. Ba weep grana weep ninny lamp. What the fuck was that? You don't know about ba weep grana weep ninny bonds? You're say I I mean you're saying words I'm sure and I mean they I'm sure they mean something to I'm not you. Not convinced of their words, but what no, the fuck are you talking it's, about? It's a universal greeting. Ba weep grana weep ninny bonds. Is this um, is this like some weird racist thing that you don't know is racist? Because this has happened before. This is not some weird racist thing. This is uh, from the original Transformers cartoon, the movie, where they killed everybody. Okay. I, oh. um, <laughs> I live here now. <laughs> Can I just live on the fucking... Ledge. This is Ledge's, Ledge's li- love, Ledge's life. Ledge's life. Just no, me... uh, in, in that movie, they find a, a junk planet full of... Uh, junk people. Ro- robots but it's not racist. that, trans- that uh, transform into motorcycles, and the universal greeting that they use to make friends is "ba weep grana weep ninny bonds." And apparently, if you say that anywhere around the universe, any race is supposed to know what you mean, and it means that hey, we're friendly. Well, apparently, that doesn't work on uh, white engineers because nope. Oh <laughs> no! Whoa! <laughs> Corwad. Adam, dreams <gasps> dreams come true, just not yours. <laughs> <laughs> I will beat him. I can't. I will. You won't defeat me, Lamp. Nope. Guys, is it bad that at this point I kind of want to see you just get flung off the the top there? Just, oh no. Okay. Okay. I need to work it around the other way. Nope. Okay. Up. Oh, no. Nope. No. Work with me, Bennett. I'm noticing oh. your sunburnt from like your shoulders up. You're like your nips are all. Oh pale. my god, that reminds me. Uh, the first time, we, no. I'm glad the pale nips made you think of something. We have a uh, uh, my fraternity. One of our chapters would always. God damn it! I really don't have, like, I don't have gripping power on the lamp. Uh, each year for their Founders Day, they hold a huge party down in North Carolina. And the Ohio State chapter, we would always make a uh, make a pilgrimage down there uh, for this big party. Uh, the one and only year that I went with Jen to this, uh, like the the way we usually went was that if we had enough, like we would go down, and if we had enough time with you know with the drive and whatnot. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, oh that was progress. Uh, if we had enough time, we would stop at the beach and uh, and go and, you know, swim in the ocean, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Beach it up. Yeah, and beach it. Exactly. Beach it up. And the one and only year that I went there with Jen, we went to the beach, but we had been, like, driving all night. And uh, Jen doesn't sleep well in the car even. So even when she wasn't driving, she was, you know, not oh, sleeping. Wait. And so we were both so tired that we just fell asleep on the beach. Oh. And got the worst sunburns we have ever had in our entire lives. And like the entire rest of the time, uh, you know, obviously this was a, a fraternity party that lasts, you know, an entire weekend. So lots of drinking, lots of uh lots of whatnot. And we're just we're at this thing and we're both like we're in so much pain and we're sitting around. We're just like, I just want to go to sleep. And I don't know if I'm tired and sick because of the alcohol or if it's the radiation from the sun. <laughs> and it was just miserable. That does sound terrible. Speaking of miserable. Oh, my God. I don't know if I've told you this one or not before, but I the worst sunburn I ever had was um, I was in like. 
I think it was like it was the summer between fifth grade and sixth grade. A, for a friend of mine, uh, his he was going to spend the weekend at his mom's, and his mom lived in the inner city or part of Cleveland. And uh, I was just like, he he invited me to come sleep over, and then we were gonna go to the beach, and then um, we we're gonna you, rent you some should, movies. You should specify for people outside of Ohio and outside of the Cleveland area that when you say the beach, you mean the coast of Lake Erie. Yeah, no, which gross. is barely a beach. Oh, and well, Edgewater has a uh, what at the time mm. looks like a real beach, and well, when you're a little kid, you don't really pick up that oh, this is just a lake. It looks like an ocean. Sure. So it was it was a cool experience, but yeah, no, it wasn't like fancy ocean beach. It was just here's a mm. gross place full of uh, garbage. <laughs> um. <laughs> that should be a new uh, tourism slogan for Cleveland: <laughs> a gross place full of ga- garbage. But at least we're not Detroit. At least we're not Detroit. Okay, come on, come but, on, um, come on, work your way. Just you slide your slimy little body up the side of that wall. Well, I, uh, I, I, we did that. I went over. I you slid your slimy body up the side of the yeah, wall. Yeah, I did. No, I went there. I spent, uh, I spent the weekend with him over at his mom's. We went to the beach on Saturday. I got the worst sunburn I've ever had in my life. My skin was as red as that piece of metal you keep sliding on. Yeah. And then, like, it got all blistery. It was really gross. Um, the thing is, is that I had agreed to go over and sleep over, but I legitimately just forgot to ask permission. Nah. So I just didn't come home Friday night. That's, that's always good. And then I was gone all day Saturday, and I didn't come home Saturday night. So the police were looking for me. Uh. My parents hadn't slept. They'd been panicking and freaking out. For over 24 hours. And um, then I oh, just so I just close. came home as red as bacon. And uh, I... Of that course special I was, red bacon that you I, get. I was, of course, yeah, cheap bacon. I was, of course, grounded and they were in a, lo- in a lot of trouble, but... Oh, my God, fuck you. I mean... Oh, my God. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> what? Falling down, but the staying down. On the next episode, I'm never playing this again. <gasps> oh my! Can I, can I touch the mouse? I want to touch the mouse. Mm. Now you've hit rock bottom. Ah! On the next episode, I'm gonna punch Corwin in the face. So worst injury you think either of us have ever had? Answer down in the comments below. We will record the right answers and give shoutouts to people who get it right. Give us game suggestions down there as well. But not games like this, or maybe games like this, if you like my pain. That's, you can... Games like this are great. I love his pain. I love you all, except for the guy who suggested this. Bye, everybody. I'm, I'm joking. I love my brother. Bye, everybody. Hi, Mike. <laughs>